Hello friends, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to perform CRUD operations in ASP.NET Core by using Razor Pages. So, first we'll see the demo. I'm going to click on product. So, this index page will be displayed here. Currently, we don't have any products. That's why we are displaying this message to the user. Whenever we have the products, so we are going to bind into this table. We will create one product here. I'll click on create new. This is the create page where we can create new product. I'm trying to create product without entering any values. I'll click on create. So client side validation and server side validation is implemented in this example. Now I'll enter the values here. I'll click on create. Once product is created, it will be redirected to index page. From index page, we can edit and we can see the details and we can delete the product. First, we'll see the edit page. Click on edit. So it will redirect it to edit page. Here we are pausing the product ID, which is primary key in our table. I'm going to update these details here. Save it. So product details has been updated. Once it is updated, again we are redirecting into index page. I'll click on the details page. In this details page, product details will be available. We can go to back to list. So again, it will be redirected to index page. If you want to edit the product here, you can click on edit. I'm going to back to list. So now here we can delete the product. Click on delete. Once we click on delete, so it will be redirected to delete page where we are pausing product ID again. Here user has to confirm the deletion. So once user is clicked on this delete button, this product will be deleted permanently from the database. If I don't want to delete, I can click on back to list. Now again, I'll go to the delete. This time I'm going to delete product. Click on delete. Product has been deleted and default message is displayed. Since we don't have any products inside the table, so this default message will be displayed here. For this example, we are going to use the Visual Studio and SQL Server and we are going to use the entity framework code first approach. Also here we are going to use the scaffolding mechanism. We are not going to write any code. In upcoming videos, we are going to perform the CRUD operations without using the scaffolding mechanism. Also we are going to perform CRUD operations by using the stored procedures. For now we are going to use the scaffolding mechanism in this session.